Imagine forgetting the most important birthday present ever. Discover the magic of family time and learn new English words along the way. So, without further delay, let's embark on our narrative journey. Granny Millie, with her hair the color of spun sunshine and a memory like a leaky colander, was in a pickle. It was her grandson's birthday, and she'd gotten him the most spectacular present, a telescope that could practically scoop up moonbeams. But now, there was a glaring problem. Granny couldn't remember where on earth she'd stashed it. Think, Millie, think. She muttered, tapping her forehead with a wrinkled finger. Memories swirled like dust bunnies under the couch, a trip to the haberdashery for a new spool of thread, a tete-a-tete -tete with the mailman, about his prize-winning tomatoes, nothing about a telescope. Panic started to bubble in her tummy, like overheated soda. Little Alex, her pride and joy, would be here any minute, expecting a night of stargazing. She couldn't disappoint her favorite little explorer. With a determined glint in her eye, Granny rallied her troops, her two grown children, Martha and William. Martha, a meticulous accountant, immediately started grilling Granny about the present size, shape, and the last place she might have seen it. William, a free-spirited artist with a head full of clouds, simply shrugged and said, maybe it has a mind of its own and went exploring already. The next hour was a whirlwind of activity. They ransacked the house, leaving no nook or cranny unturned. Granny even checked the fridge, because, well, stranger things had happened. Martha made a detailed inventory of all the presents Granny had bought that week, hoping to jog her memory. William, meanwhile, drew a series of outlandish pictures, depicting the telescope on a wild adventure, on top of the Empire State Building, riding a dolphin in the ocean, even hanging out with aliens on Mars. Just as despair threatened to engulf them, a tiny, melodic tune filled the air. It was Alex's whistle, his signature arrival song. Granny froze, a spark of memory flickering in her mind. The attic, she cried, the old telescope box. It must have triggered something when I was cleaning last week. A mad dash to the attic later, and there it was, Nestled amongst dusty trunks and forgotten board games, the magnificent telescope, ready to take Alex on a cosmic journey. Relief washed over them like a cool summer breeze. Later that night, as Alex gasped in wonder at the craters on the moon, Granny realized something important. Memories might be tricky things, but the love between family was a constant shining brighter than any star in the sky. And that, she decided with a smile, was the most pepperoni of all. Congratulations on completing Magic of Family Time! Your dedication to learning English is truly commendable. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to ensure they stick. A quick refresher to boost your English prowess. Number one, spun sunshine. Describing hair color as golden and bright. Number two, memory like a leaky calendar, having a poor memory. Number three, pickle, a difficult situation. Number four, spectacular, extremely impressive. Number five, scoop up moonbeams, collect something magical or elusive. Number six, glaring problem, an obvious and significant issue. Number seven, wrinkled finger, describing an elderly person's finger. Number eight, swirled, moved in a twisting or spiraling pattern. Number nine, dust bunnies, clumps of dust and fluff. Number 10, haberdashery, a shop selling small items like thread or buttons. Number 11, tete a tete, a private conversation. Number 12, prize winning, having won a prize. Number 13, panic started to bubble, began to feel increasingly anxious. Number 14, overheated soda, a metaphor for growing anxiety. Number 15, 
Pride and joy, something or someone that makes you very proud and happy. Number 16, stargazing, observing the stars. Number 17, disappoint, to fail to meet someone's expectations. Number 18, determined glint in her eye, showing firm decision or determination. Number 19, rallied her troops, gathered and encouraged people to take action. Number 20, meticulous, very careful and precise. Number 21, grilling, questioning someone intensely. Number 22, free-spirited, independent and unconstrained. Number 23, exploring, investigating or traveling through an unfamiliar area. Number 24, whirlwind of activity, a period of very busy activity. Number 25, ransacked, searched through thoroughly, often leaving a mess. Number 26, outlandish, very unusual or strange. Number 27, despair threatened to engulf them, they were close to feeling overwhelmed by hopelessness. Number 28, melodic tune, a pleasant and tuneful sound. Number 29, flickering, shining with a wavering light. Number 30, mad dash, a hurried and frantic movement. Number 31, magnificent, very beautiful and impressive. Number 32, cosmic journey, an adventurous exploration of the universe. Number 33, relief washed over them, they felt a sudden sense of relaxation. Number 34, cool summer breeze, a refreshing and pleasant feeling. Number 35, gasped in wonder, reacted with amazement. Number 36, shining brighter than any star in the sky, more significant or noticeable than anything else. Number 37, pepperoni, a playful and positive expression in this context. Number 38, where on earth, expressing surprise or confusion about the location of something. Number 39, stashed, hidden or stored away. Number 40, full of clouds, having a mind full of dreamy or unrealistic thoughts. Number 41, jog someone's memory, to remind someone of something. Number 42, depicting, showing or representing in a drawing or painting. Number 43, triggered, cause to happen or bring about. Number 44, nook or cranny, every small or hidden part of a place. Number 45, hanging out, spending time relaxing or enjoying oneself. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.